this bull run is gonna give 100x run up in XRP and a lot of other assets. I'm not highlighting the fact that this is what's true. I want to give you guys the idea that we are watching something like this playing out in the market. And what does that mean for the price action of XRP? Yes, we know how things are evolving on the short term structure, but we do see a lot of doubt asking like, can the price of XRP go higher? Let me actually take you guys through a series of price action which can easily be noticed so that you understand the fact that yes, XRP is showing something which it has done historically before the price runs hard. And if you believe that's true, ask the question, have you bought enough amount of XRP for your portfolio? If so, great, you have already loaded your bags. Now it's just the patience game, but the question ultimately ends up somewhere close to this range, like when will this start? When will this start? That's what we are going to address here in this video today. So if you like the way we are going, please do hit that like and subscribe button. And if you have any questions, drop that in the comment section below. Welcome to the Scientific Investor Family, where the normal retail guys get to learn how to become the next top 10 person in this world. Keep this in mind. When we talk about this, we'll have to go through a lot of different stuff, but the idea here is same. The upside is going to be enormous, and I believe it's not going to take a long time from here to start. Now, this is one thing. The price is actually showing you that it is making a higher low at a time when the RSI is showing you a lower low. What does that mean? That's a hidden bullish divergence. When you actually watch that, keep this in mind, the next move in price is most likely to the upside. Great. Now, if you are like SI, uh, maybe that's just one indication. Uh, I need more confirmation. Great. You just reduce the noise and look for the same. Is that valid? Yeah, it does. Great. Now, zoom in to see, do you get any more confirmation? This is what we are watching here. On a three-day chart, the price action is showing you at that support. You're also getting a reversal signal. Tweezer bottoms usually signifies that there is a lot of buying activity coming in. So you're watching how the bullish movement is entering the market at a time when the bears were controlling the market. So one, the price action was going to the downside and then the bulls come in and take the control over. So this shows you, yeah, bulls are trying to take the control over and it may not be an overnight boom, that is not the case usually. You are literally going to watch how the price action is going to evolve. And some of these times you get this, you stay there for like a few days before you actually start moving up. That's one of the primary reasons why I highlighted this region. Great. Now, if you're like, okay, mm, that's just two things. What if I ask, like, do the price move with just two of these confirmation? I would say yes, but if you need more clarity, look at this. The price action has shown you this every single time. Now, what's this? This just shows you XRP in its price action pattern over the last two, three years have shown this repeatedly. It breaks the moving average, come back down to test it, bounce off, but gets failed. So the price action failed to run higher at that point come back down to test the moving average. From there, boom, you go up. Now, is the opposite also true? Yeah. When you go down, break that moving average to the downside, you go back to retest it. Then you bounce off, but that kind of fails at that point. And then again, you go back to retest that moving average and then boom, it drops. So depending on the direction, you know what's coming next. If that's true, something big is about to start. Why? 
you broke higher, you came back, you retested the moving average, you bounced off, you failed. And now we are coming back down to retest this moving average. And at that moving average, you're watching the tweezer bottom. At that moving average, you're watching the hidden bullish divergence entering the market. Now, if you're like, okay, mm, that's okay, that's good, but what does this look like on a macro chart? Here is how that looks like. You actually had all these patterns evolving. One, the RSI showing you, we are almost repeating the history. We are almost repeating the history. The MACD shows, yeah, we are there. It's not like repeating the history, but somewhat like rhyming. But still, that's way more bullish than what we had last time. Look at the volume on the positive side of the MACD. Last time, you didn't have that much. This time, you have it. And I'm like, okay, it really makes sense because last time, by that time, you didn't have a lot of volume coming in because XRP was getting delisted. This time around, the story is different. And that's why it's super bullish. Now, for the question of like, okay, I get that. I get that as I, I get that. What about when will we start this? Yeah, the day, it's hard to say. But what are we anticipating? We broke to the upside here in the RSI. We want to see a retest and that's happening as of now and a bounce off. So the same should be true in the price action as well. Here, we're watching this. We want to come back down to retest that and then bounce off. This will signal a breakout here. That will signal the upside move is starting so quickly. And that's going to be a huge opportunity area. Now, you can actually put numbers in. Yeah, what we are watching here can be a little bit of hype, but still 100,000 person move is actually a big move. You're literally talking about like, you know, 1000 X run up in the price action. So I'm like, okay, they're quoting XRP, Bitcoin, Ether, Cardano. I mean, is that really possible? I have a lot of doubt in that. But we're not actually looking at what the AI is giving you. We are looking at what those guys who have been in the market for an extended period of time is looking at the chart and giving you in real time. Shout out to Credible Crypto. He's been highlighting these facts before. And if you actually note that, these kind of movements come into the market just to kick out the weak hands before it actually climb back up. So now if you go look at what happened last time around, I'm like, that looks extremely positive. Great. So now that's kind of clear. If you want a little bit more of the thought process of where we are now and what he is kind of giving you, that's a move towards $33,000, $34,000. Now, if you actually go in, looking at that, yeah, we are at a support. We are trying to break higher. The RSI is already showing you the fact that we are breaking higher. Now, the RSI should actually retest and bounce, which means the price may actually dip a little bit, say 24, 500, 25, and then bounce off towards 31, 32, 33 range. So that's what we are watching in Bitcoin. And if Bitcoin itself is doing that, crypto market as a whole is going to get some liquidity. It's going to get some media attention. All of that is coming. Yes, right now in the disbelief phase, it's going to be really hard to even think about anything bullish. But I'm watching people preparing well enough. So on the other end, they're going to get huge opportunities. I mean, huge opportunities. Right now, you're watching how the market is deteriorating. That means this is housing market. You first may give up your car, then some fancy stuff. The last thing you'll give up is your house. And right now, the market is going to push you to that area where you may have to even lose that. Which means all of this is going to come in as a supply in the market. The price is going to drop heavily. The economy is going to tank. So if you do make a giant amount of money in the next six to nine months, after that comes something like this. And at that time, the crypto market should also drop. People will take profit. So make sure you take that profit. If not, 
Don't complain that no one actually told you to take profit. No one actually told you there is going to be a massive crash in 2024, 2025. Because I see a lot of people giving you the idea that 2024, 2025 is going to be a huge bull market. Do you see the stock market giving you that vibes? Showing you that it's about to run higher? Do you think the market around the globe is giving you that idea? Because here, what this lady is giving you is that, okay, Canadian Central Bank may have to push the rates down. On the other aisle, you're watching the economist kind of giving you the idea. On the US side, they may not really have much to actually push that rate down. That's going to be hard. Now, if US is not pushing the rate down and Canada does that, the currency takes a hit. So most likely they're not going to do that at this time where, you know, the inflation is sky high in this country. Ooh, people are battered with prices everywhere. If you go buy groceries, you'll be surprised what it was costing a year back and what it costs now. So that's a huge change in the purchasing power. Now, if you come back into the adoption cycle, yeah, XRP is kind of, you know, exploding in adoption. XRP Ledger actually is taking on the tokenization part. Now, you know, Ether and others are involved in the space, but you have to actually give that appreciation to XRP Ledger because it's cheap. One, it's kind of, you know, uh, super fast compared to all these other bullshits over the market. And it's not only that, the amount of hacks you have in other networks and the network outages are so common. So you go back in Solana, you'll see the network outages. Ether is like the market for hackers. Most of these hacks you see is in Ethereum network. So over the time, if you are to actually put one of the biggest assets of your lifetime onto a ledger tokenized, you really don't want that to be in a network which can go down. You really don't want that to be in a network which will get hacked. You want to make sure that's on a network which is highly scalable and it's like, you know, hackers will have hard time trying to break into that system. That's what you really will look into. As this becomes, you know, mass adoption cycle kind of pushes that flywheel to the upside, you will watch all of them evolving. Now, all that being said, short term, remember, we just talked about the fact that we want to see the price come back down and bounce. Now, it can even wick a little bit lower and bounce because you do have room here. That's still okay. This is your range of support we are talking about. Because on the other end, you do see the fact that this is the trend and you're watching that the RSI is going into the other direction, which is bullish actually. So if you maintain a bullish trend in the RSI, that will give you an increasing momentum in this. Right now, it's hard to see that. But as soon as this breaks higher, then you don't have much opportunity or there is no benefit in seeing that because that opportunity of dollar cost averaging to the downside is done. So if you receive value, please do smash that like button for me. And if you are looking for a lot of these updates on the market where there is a lot of opportunity at the point and there is some concerns in the market, you get all of those in the Patreon. The link is given in the description below. So that's it for today, guys. I'll meet you on the next video. Bye for now.